Hi everyone, welcome to An Academy YouTube. As you all know, in today's session, we are going to discuss the large scale marking scheme and exam pattern for GATE 2021. This video has been put up only for the humanities section, which includes sociology. And uh, in case you people are not from sociology, you can still utilize this video because it covers information about all the humanities subjects which come under the gate 2021 exam those of you who are in my session for the first time and you do not know me my name is antara chakrabarti and i am the ugc nt net educator for sociology on an academy plus this is my telegram channel at the date antara chak which has all the important updates class pdfs etc hence you if you people have not yet joined please do so just a brief reminder that I have already started teaching GATE sociology syllabus and the UGC NTA net syllabus on An Academy Plus. Those of you who have not yet joined, please do so. You have to subscribe to NTA net category and you can apply my referral code Antarachak, which will give you a 10% discount. Now let us go into the video and understand each and every bit in detail so that you people are not confused on how to go about GATE. In case you people are the aspirants of February, this is definitely going to help you but even then if you are aspiring for the gate exams post february this video is going to help you to understand the major exam structure now uh, also please let me know whether i'm audible or not because right audible and visible clear okay so in the first place you people have to know what is the mark distribution yesterday also i had taken a class on this where i had explained you in detail what is the marks distribution ek bar phir se hum log dekh lete hain now i'm telling you this with regard to sociology if you people are from any other humanities subject it is going to be helpful to you as well so sabse pehli baat hamare paper mein there are two large scale sections number 1 is the general aptitude section uske baad you have section b1 and the subject so in general aptitude you will have 15 marks subject may say 25 marks will be from b1 yesterday i had explained you what is b1 b1 is about reading comprehension about different kind of reasoning etc and then you have 60 marks from the subject paper however total marks here 100 to ho rahi hai but the marks distribution hai is little complicated so in this video we will understand what is the marks distribution what type of questions are going to be asked in the february exam so that you people can prepare accordingly okay now in the first section that I have already told you, this is something that includes to all the six subjects under humanities, which is sociology to hai hai included. GA yani ki general aptitude may 15 marks hongi. There will be questions related to 15 marks. There will be numerical, quantitative understanding, different kinds of reasoning, math, etc. Section B1 may aap logo ko reasoning or comprehension karna padega. Is section may there will be 15 questions carrying a total of 25 marks now you people must be wondering that how come 15 questions mein hum log 25 marks de rahe hain jo first ke 5 questions honge wo 1 mark ke honge that means 5 marks 5 questions is equal to 5 marks and then you have 10 questions with 2 marks each okay the last 10 questions will have 2 marks each which makes it 20 marks therefore 20 plus 5 it makes it 25 so the last 20 the last 10 questions definitely have more weightage so we have to make our focus a little more important in these regard the second information that they have given and i'm pretty sure you people know it as well just in case if you don't there is a rule under different science subjects that you can apply to one or two disciplines under gate but this is not the same rule under humanities under humanities you are only allowed to apply for one subject at a time so if you are appearing for sociology you cannot be appearing for any other okay now in this section also there will not be a total of 60 questions there will be 40 questions carrying a total mark of 60 again the same rule 20 questions 20 marks ke honge, that is one one mark each or baki ke 20 will be two marks which makes it 40 marks I hope you people understood how it goes. The first 20 questions will be one mark each. The second 20 questions will be two marks each, making it a total of 60. 
some questions in these are of msq pattern now what are these msq pattern you people have to know this is a new type of introduction that they have included under this section it is different from multiple choice question where there will be a question and you will be given only one answer correct answer of that but msq is not like that it's me multiple correct answers hote hain okay we will discuss about that as well but just in case let me briefly take you through the pattern of questions okay gate 2021 would contain questions of three different types number one is multiple choice questions jahan pe sare questions ke ek hi correct answer hota hai wo question ek mark ka bhi ho sakta hai do mark ka bhi ho sakta hai but every question will carry only one accurate answer if i ask you what is the capital of india the correct answer is new delhi and that's all there will not be multiple answers to that okay however please remember that there is a negative marking for wrong answers for every wrong answer there will be one by third mark deducted that means 75% of the marks will be deducted agar aap consecutively ya fir three questions galat karte hain to one mark aapka wahi pe chala jata hai likewise two marks will be uh, in case of two marks question two thirds will be deducted from you ओके okay? जो भी क्वेश्चंस वन मार्क के हैं वहां पे वन थर्ड डिडक्ट होगा जो भी क्वेश्चंस दो मार्क के हैं अगर वो आप गलत करते हैं तो टू थर्ड्स ऑफ द मार्क्स विल बी डिडक्टेड इन दैट पेपर नाउ लेट मी टेल यू अगेन सिंस दिस डाउट हैज कम अप देयर इज नो कट ऑफ फॉर गेट अनलाइक नेट और एनी काइंड ऑफ दीज काइंड ऑफ कट ऑफ बेस्ड एग्जाम्स गेट में कोई कट ऑफ नहीं है गेट पे आप जो भी एग्जाम देने वाले हैं वही आपका स्कोर होने वाला है गेट डज नॉट हैव एनी कट ऑफ गेट में पास फेल टॉप परसेंटेज दीज आर नो कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक दैट गेट जो लोग भी देंगे सबको एक पर्टिकुलर स्कोर्स मिलेगी और उसी स्कोर्स को हम आगे जाके यूज कर पाएंगे वाइल अप्लाइंग टू आई आई टीज फॉर पी एच डी और इवन फॉर अप्लाइंग टू पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग्स फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ जॉब्स ओके number 2 what i wanted to focus upon in today's class is multiple select questions it's a new type of pattern that they have included jahan pe question ek mark ke bhi ho sakte hain do mark ke bhi ho sakte hain of course they will inform you this that which are the mcqs which are the msqs in these questions there can be one और मोर देन वन यानी कि ये भी गारंटी नहीं है कि इसमें बस एक ही आंसर सही हो सकता है या फिर एक से ज्यादा दैट मीन्स योर कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी हैज टू बी सो गुड दैट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई वेदर इस क्वेश्चन में एक ही आंसर करेक्ट है या फिर दो ओके लेट्स एज्यूम द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी ऑफ दीज ऑप्शन आर द सिटीज ऑफ इंडिया एंड दी ऑप्शन आर न्यूयॉर्क मुंबई एंड कोलकाता सो इन दिस ऑब्वियसली न्यूयॉर्क विल बी कैंसल्ड Mumbai and Kolkata are the two answers that we have to go with but you have to be very sure isme se ek bhi correct answer ho sakta hai do hamesha hona is not necessary okay however they have given some liberal policy within this questions where they have said there will be no negative marking for wrong answers in msq which is kind of a uh, सेवियर बिकॉज अगर आप लोगों का लक काम नहीं भी करता है तो आप लोगों को एटलीस्ट नेगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं मिलेगी ओके हाउ एवर देर इज नो पार्शियल क्रेडिट फॉर चूजिंग पार्शियली करेक्ट आंसर विच मीन्स लेट्स एज्यूम दैट न्यूयॉर्क इज द रॉन्ग ऑप्शन बट मुंबई कोलकाता बोथ आर करेक्ट मान लीजिए आप लोग इनमें से सिर्फ कोलकाता टिक करके आते हैं तो आपको पार्शियल मार्क्स नहीं मिलेंगे आइदर यू हैव टू टिक बोथ कोलकाता एंड मुंबई और देर इज नो मार्क्स फॉर दैट इवन इफ यू टिक वन ऑप्शन व्हिच इज करेक्ट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट मार्क्स ऑन दैट ओके सो दिस इज वन सिंपल दीज आर द टू सिंपल टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच विल बी आस्ड इन दी गेट ह्यूमैनिटीज देर इज वन मोर टाइप दैट इज द न्यू मेडिकल एप्टीट्यूड विच इज डेफिनेटली नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द सोशोलॉजी पेपर सो वी एज द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सोशोलॉजी गेट एक्सपीरियंस need not be worried about that section so i hope you people are now somewhat aware of what it is it is like codes but yahan pe aapko codes nahi diya jayega that is where the main uh, fun comes in codes mein at least aapko bata dete hain let's say you mean codes you they already tell you a b ya fir c d these kind of things are told to us but in this it is up to you aapko samajhna hai whether in mein se ek answer correct hoga ya double answers don't worry gate has already provided us with the model question paper so 
in the next session in the next two sessions consecutively tomorrow and day after i will be discussing the gate model sociology question paper with you all so i want all the aspirants to be present in that class so that you people not only understand the question quality the question difficulty level but also understand what kind of multiple select questions are also asked in gate exam okay so i hope you people are clear with that i have already clarified it to you that uh, you are not going to have any kind of cut off based thing on gate it is not like net in fact in the end of the month i am also going to take another session where i am going to discuss that net and gate are two different types of exam and what exactly are the differences will also be told by me so thank you so much for joining in my session those people who have not yet joined me for sociology gate please do so subscribe to ugc nta net on an academy plus because the course has already started on 13th november this is my referral code antarachak which will give you a 10% discount so thank you so much i will meet you soon in the next class okay thank you so much